Hey, welcome back to Whiskey Quest. If you're new to the channel, my name is Antonio, and in this channel, I like to try whiskeys from all over the world. I like to add a drop of water to each one of them just to see if it changes. You'll never know unless you try it. Today, we have the very last sample from the Whiskey Dude. If you don't know who the Whiskey Dude is, I'm gonna put a link to his YouTube channel in the description below. He's the one that donated all of these samples right here for me to try and review for you guys. So if you're curious about whiskey, you wanna learn more about whiskey, just in general, you love whiskey, consider hitting the subscribe button on both his channel and mine. Help us reach our goals. Let's move on with today's whiskey review of Jack Daniels Single Barrel Barrel Proof. Ooh, this is gonna be awesome. I was saving this for the last one and everybody tells me how good it is. <laughs> I don't know how I kept myself away from it, but it's finally time to review this for you guys. Put that right there. Just like their other whiskeys, this is an NAS whiskey with a no age statement, but you know, they, they take their time to make the product. They don't just rush it. There's no speeding the aging process, none of that. So if actually, if you guys checked out one of my reviews here of the Master Distiller series, I'll link it up right here for you guys to check out if you want. Frank Bobo, one of the earlier Master Distillers, he once said, I'd rather ask folks for their patience than their forgiveness. So there you have it. They take their time, they do it just like Jack Daniels himself did it back in the day. All right. This one right here, like I said, it's a barrel proof. So it's gonna be high, high amount of alcohol. This one right here is coming at you at 65.3 ABV. That's 130.6 proof. Woo -hoo -hoo. All right. I think this might be the highest proof I've ever had. So let's see what we get on the nose right here, guys. That charcoal mellowing that they do does this thing because it's not super pungent on the nose. It's not like hitting me for what you expect for high proof is gonna do. Mm -mm. Get a good amount of oak going on. <sighs> banana. Oh yeah, this is like a nice ripe banana. <sighs> Some coconut also. <sighs> Vanilla. Think of like, like a vanilla sundae with some coconut sprinkled on top. Ooh, something green somewhere, maybe like maybe like a green apple going on as well. But I'm being really picky on that one. It's more of that banana, vanilla, and that nice sweet coconut coming out. Hints of caramel also. That varnishy smell that I've, I'm used to getting in Jack Daniels. I'm also not getting it on this. So. Looks like higher ABV helps diminish that note. All right, let's move on to the taste of this one right here. Actually, you know what guys? I don't know if you've noticed in my earlier or more recent reviews, I haven't been mentioning color and that's because, you know, I'm like a lot of them add coloring like in scotch. So I'm like, yeah, okay, whatever. Yeah, it's a nice color, but if they added color to it, what's the point of pointing it out? But this one right here, there's no coloring added in this. This is all from the barrel. You get a nice dark, like mahogany kind of color. I mean, it's it's a really dark color considering these other ones that were more like on the golden side. So awesome right there. Let's see what we get on the palette. Cheers, everybody. First time ever trying it. Holy moly. -hoo -hoo. Oh, that is so good. Wow. All right. Oh my God. That is awesome. That is freaking awesome. All right. As soon as you put the liquid in your mouth, you start moving it around. Nothing's really happening. Keep moving it around. And then all of a sudden those flavors like they start attacking your taste buds that high amount of alcohol 
it's there it's hot i feel it going down nice and warm but it's it's not like it's not making me choke or anything like that it's really well made <laughs> one more taste guys cheers yeah that's awesome nice hot hot mouthfeel going on that banana comes through the wood char really standing out i also got some some nice cinnamon notes going on a little bit minty as you start breathing but yeah lots of wood char in this i'm i i love getting wood char and this one right here is hitting the spot yeah something else i don't really get on the other ones i'm getting a nice burnt caramel mixed in with some like leather notes it might be that char influencing that there but that to me is awesome some citrus coming out the longer that it stays in the finish here the more of those flavors that start coming out there's some vanilla bean again that might just be from the char but really really good i can't i can't say anything bad about this the finish super long stays with you for a long time especially that char that's still there won't go away it's like like drinking some some black coffee and you know it just stays with you for like some really good coffee it just stays there with you for a while that's awesome you know what time it's for right as jason would say time to add some water you guys don't know who Jason is. He's Jason from the Mesh and Drum. I'm sure you guys already follow him, but if you don't, I'll also put a link to his channel in the description below. Go check him out. Awesome dude. Like really super active. I mean, I don't know how he does it, but this guy is on top of it. He's putting out content left and right. Check him out. Won't be disappointed. Oh yeah, just adding it right there. Sweetness started to develop, but Let's let it sit there for a little bit and we'll come back to it and see what happens. So like I said, this one's coming at you at 65.3. Now, being a single barrel, not every single one of these is gonna taste exactly the same. They're gonna be similar, you know, but one might have a little bit more of this and that. So it's always worth noting stuff like that. Unfortunately, the dude didn't tell me uh, any of that on this sample right here, but I'll send them a text and having have him send me that info and I'll put it in the description below if you guys want to check it out. Maybe that'll be something you guys want to hunt for. But anyways, these all range from 125 to 140 proof. So again, even that's a little bit different. You know, single barrels. That's what I love about them. So every single Jack Daniels that I've had, I've talked about the Lincoln County process and you know what that is. In case you don't know, it's the maple charcoal filtering that they do to the whiskey. So what they do there is three times a week, three times a day, they will stack up pallets of wood, like five feet tall. They'll drench them in Jack Daniels white dog, like raw, you know, un, unaged, just spirit. They, they drenched it in that, they light it on fire and I think it can reach up to 200 degrees Fahrenheit. I can, I can just imagine standing right in front of there, that heat right in your face. That's pretty much what's coming out of this glass. <laughs> All right, let's get back to the whiskey here on the nose with a little bit of water. Oh, it's so weird. That banana is still there, but now it's also reminding me of like what I would consider a strawberry jam. I mean, this might just be that sweetness, some honey coming out. Oh, now I'm getting some of that, some of that uh, varnishy note. Give it a little, the old swirl here. Oh, that looks so nice. Let's see if I can get this close enough for you guys. Let's see, so it focuses on that. Come on, come on camera. How do you do that? There we go. Oh, look at that color, guys. Freaking sweet, isn't it? Hell yeah. All right. Back to the nose, still nice and oaky. Little, little on the light side, but, oh, that vanilla coming out. 
vanilla and the caramel. Yeah, it's just got a little bit sweeter on the nose. Getting some nice, nice notes there. Let's move on to the palate. Cheers, guys, with some water. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God, that just hits the spot. Here's another thing with high-proof whiskeys like this. Yeah, they're high-proof. You can drink them like that if you want, but... I mean, honestly, you're going to be adding water to this because I don't think your liver is going to appreciate you killing a whole bottle of barrel-proof whiskey. So by adding water, you're also stretching out your bottle. So you're really getting a bang for your buck with these barrel-proof whiskeys. I made another drop of water here because this for sure will hold up to it. And speaking of stretching your dollar with this, this one goes for $65. $65 for a barrel proof whiskey. I mean, you can get things like like Booker's or whatever, which are now in the hundred, like $80 to a hundred, depending where you go. And I've only been seeing them for a hundred dollars. So I should have picked them up when they were way cheaper, but I snoozed. I said, they're always going to be there, but now they're a little bit more on the expensive side. So I'm waiting for the guys to review something that's going to wow them where I'm going to say, yes, I'm picking that up. But as of right now, I'm gonna hold off on that. All right, not much changing with that extra dollar, uh, extra dollar, that extra amount of water. So let's just see what happens with that on the palate. Hmm. Yes. Just getting buttery. Nice mouth coating there. That char is getting toned down, allowing some more flavors to come out. Less hot in the mouth. That banana note is still there, not overpowering. It still has that good amount of char. So you can say this is a nice smoky, smoky whiskey. Yes, then brown, burnt brown sugar. Mm-hmm. Mm. -hmm. mm so thick it's almost like you can chew it oh my god that's so good all right you guys already know what i'm gonna say my final thoughts this is a definite must now compared to every single jack daniels that i've reviewed a lot of these yes it's nice to have especially the special releases but this gives you a bang for your buck I mean, you can, even the regular single barrel is awesome. But this one, holy moly, I am definitely picking one of these up. It needs to be in my bar, most definitely. And it should be in yours too. Whew. Well, I'm definitely feeling that heat, guys. And that's awesome. I love it. All right, you guys know what to do. Make sure you give me a thumbs up. Share this with your friends. Don't forget to drop me a comment below. Have you guys tried this? Were you thinking about getting it? Let me know if you are going to get it and let me know once you try it for sure. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button on your way out and follow me on Instagram. See what happens behind the scenes. Cheers, everybody. Have an awesome weekend. Here's to the whiskey, dude. Thanks again, my friend. This was awesome. Cheers. Mmm. Extra burst of vanilla there, too. Awesome.